Hello everyone. Welcome to a series of short videos where we explore topics in psychology, neuroscience and more. Today in our series on sleep, we are going to introduce the concept of sleep spindles, a particular pattern of brainwave activity, highly related to memory consolidations and possibly even creativity. Brain activity during sleep is usually measured using a system known as electroencephalography EEG. This system uses magnetic fields created by intracellular currents of neurons to provide an aggregated measure of local brain activity under electrodes placed on the scalp. These aggregate brain waves are classified into bands that represent certain frequency ranges. Using these categories, we can track changes in the brain's activity and its synchronization. This method is particularly useful during sleep where other methods such as fMRI present logistical and personal problems. Sleep spindles mainly occur during the second stage of sleep, NREM2, non-REM2, and in fact are the primary feature we look for to classify this stage of sleep. Sleep spindles have proved time and time again to be related to a mechanism known as systems consolidation theory, in which sleep facilitates the transfer of information temporarily stored in the hippocampus to the long-term storage in the neocortex. Events that happen during the day are stored as episodic memories in the hippocampus. During sleep, these memories are reactivated in order to move them from the temporary storage of the hippocampus to the more long-term storage of the neocortex, the outer layer of our brain. This seems to happen through a relationship between the thalamus and the neocortex. This kind of memory is also strongly related to sleep spindles. In fact, this phenomenon is so well established that some labs, including my own, attempt to hack this process in order to investigate the role of sleep in memory more thoroughly using a method known as targeted memory reactivation, or TMR. Sleep spindles are a particular waveform seen in the second stage of sleep. They are short 0.5 to 2 second bursts of sigma activity, 12 to 16 hertz, that serve as signposts that the participant has passed through the first stage of sleep. This stage of sleep recurs throughout the night, following each session of slow wave sleep and REM sleep. Sleep spindles are currently at the forefront of research in many sleep-related memory studies involving memory consolidation, creativity, emotional valence and much more. This is very much an emerging frontier of neuropsychology, but we highly recommend the papers in the description for further reading. Furthermore, we recommend the Sleep Science Podcast by Professor Penny Lewis for further discussion about both sleep spindles and sleep in general. Thanks for watching.